What's up everybody? Welcome back to Make It Custom Unleashed. I'm Carl Fisher. We have the other channel called Make It Custom. If you haven't seen that one, which you probably have, uh, we build stuff, we, uh, we make tools for metal shaping, we teach metal shaping stuff. Um, on this video right here, I'm basically just gonna show you guys my attempt at making a nightlight out of a taillight. So don't forget to like, click subscribe, hit notifications. Let's get into it. Going for a skin, bud! This episode, I'm going to Japan. We are in Australia. We're going on a little ride tomorrow. This place is insane. A little more subtle, but very custom. I'm having fun. Me too. All right, everybody, so uh, a night light out of a tail light. What are you doing? This basically is a um, weird kind of gift idea that I can't get out of my head now. Um, it's funny, um, we were going to this barbecue and I uh, wasn't sure if it was a baby shower, so I was talking with a friend and, and she's like, well, what should we get and da da da. And, and uh, it turns out it's not actually a baby shower and uh, it's not really a gift thing, but I kind of still want to give this to them anyway because uh, friends of ours are bringing a brand new little bundle of joy into the world and uh, I think a night light would be really cool and it was a suggestion from a friend and I feel like it was kind of meant to be because a subscriber actually gave me this glass beautiful tail light lens so you know who you are thank you very much if you're watching right now I appreciate it this is going to make a great gift um, so this is a Zephyr tail light lens it's all glass it looks like it's in beautiful shape and I've got I actually have like this little night light thing that had uh, uh, something else on it and it fits well into the Zephyr housing either way. So what I would like to do basically is I want to just make a bezel for this light and then I'll just make a simple, you know, steel backing plate that holds this. We can just glue it in or whatever. But then if this has a nice bezel, then it'll look finished and this could just kind of sit you know, plugged in against an outlet and it would just kind of glow. It's red, it doesn't hurt your eyes when, uh, you know, I, I think if, as long as it's shielded with red that it doesn't mess up, mess up your night vision, you know what I mean? Like you get blinded and you can't see in the dark. Anyway, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna time lapse this whole thing. I'm not really gonna explain what I'm doing. Um, you're gonna try, I'm gonna try and use the camera to show what I'm doing so it's kind of self-explanatory and just follow me on this little creative idea that I'm trying to pursue. I don't know how to do it, what to do it with. I've got a really thick copper here. I've got stainless, I've got aluminum. I, it would be probably easiest out of aluminum. Um, if I use copper, especially this thick stuff, I'll be definitely using the torch a lot. I really don't know what I'm doing, so um, I'm just gonna time lapse it and uh, and I hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. One last 
for 40 days I've been Searching for holy flames A sign to light up the way So can you help me out? Can you help me out? certain of truth before I've been called a righteous man before yeah I've been closer to Jesus before so can you help me out oh can you help me Can you help me out?
hammered copper night light with a Zephyr tail light lens. Um, I had to weld it on this side. We were able to shrink all the way around this. That's an incredible amount of shrink for that type of a radius, especially with very thick copper. This copper is, uh, I believe, 14 gauge copper. And uh, with a bit of heat and persuasion, it went around it. I used um, half inch steel for that hammer form. Uh, you probably could have got away with a little bit thinner, but it was nice to have that as uh, the thickness as well, because you saw I kind of ground right back to that so that I would have a nice flat lip all the way around. Um, didn't plan it that way, worked out that way. I welded it with copper just from the sheet. Um, copper welds really nice, especially if it's very clean. Hammered copper hammer form little night light. If you take this off, I found a nice little piece of hardware there. Um, if you unscrew that, the lens pops out, the switch is underneath there, and the light. So I kind of assumed that it would just be on all the time, or yeah, because it's not very practical having the switch under the light. But uh, plug it in, plug it out, just by pushing it on. Um, I ground and uh, die ground this really tight, so that just pushed in beautifully. So that'll just sit in there, is what it is and uh, I really hope that they like it. I enjoyed making it. It was actually really neat to make something not car related that was sort of artistic and just sort of go for it. Uh, just, just being able to time lapse the whole thing and not think about explaining the process. Uh, as much as I know you guys like that stuff, it was, um, it was a nice exercise for me in just kind of tunes in and getting into flow state and, uh, and working through this. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Make it custom, everybody. Um, if you haven't checked out Patreon, what we do on Patreon is um, there's different levels, but everybody on Patreon gets to see the daily updates in here. We're a bit ahead of you guys at Make It Custom here, so every day um, that we're working in the shop, it's a few times a week um, when Elio's here, I'll do a little update that kind of just brings you up to speed exactly where we are. You get you know ad-free content. Um, there's DXF files on there. If you don't want to buy them on our website, you get them for free if you're of a certain tier. And uh, the tier is cheaper than our cheapest DXF file. So um, you know you could go in there and 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 just become a member for a month and download them all if you really wanted to. I'm not saying do that, but nobody's stopping you. So um, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Make it custom, everybody. I really appreciate you. Um, Unleashed is um, is a lot of fun, and I get to do stuff like this. It's not car related and. Uh, uh, and yeah, all kinds of stuff coming up with that as well. I've got a couple of friends of Japan's, like we're gonna kinda highlight just some of the people that we know locally. There's an incredible car culture out here. Um, you know, shops as well as people that are just friends of the shop that don't mind me poking around with a camera. I'm gonna invade their space and show you guys what's up out here on the west coast of British Columbia. So thanks a lot everybody. We'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to like, click subscribe, hit notifications, make it custom out.